fantasy in my head One more time before I go Higher powers taking a hold on me I need one day Got a fantasy in my head One more time before I go Higher powers taking a hold on me Como tu te llamas Yo no sé De donde llegaste Ni pregunté Lo único que sé que quiero con usted Quedarme contigo hasta el amanecer Como tú te llamas, yo no sé De dónde llegaste, ni pregunté Lo único que sé Hey, what's up, guys? This is David and Haidet Hey, what's up? It's Julie so today we're gonna build a computer. It's for David's son. Yeah, it's his uh, graduation gift. We're gonna, he didn't want a car, he didn't want anything else. He says, I just want a high-end computer that can play VR. Yeah. I don't have VR here, his mom has it. But when we build it, he'll get to play it. All right. So we're gonna start off with the tower. What kind of tower is this, it? We chose an NZXT case. It's a ATX or? A micro ATX case. Nice. So it's a lot smaller. It's a below a, a mid tower case. So pretty portable, really small. Perfect for him, you know, since he'll be doing a lot of VR gaming. And I'm sure he's going to want to take that anywhere he goes to his friend's house, why not? So it won't be too bad. To carry and it's not heavy at all pretty light nice. that's the h200 uh, i actually got a good deal on it on amazon for uh 70 bucks so if you guys ever want to get a nice little micro atx case this one's pretty good uh still has a lot of space you can install a lot of hard drives on it so this would be perfect for like your living room right for like an entertainment yeah, especially center if you want to game on your couch you know and maybe not on a desk this would be the solution right here you don't want anything too big so the next thing is power supply. Got the power supply by Course Air. This one's a CX 550 watts. I thought I chose that one because I think that's enough power uh, to power most of this hardware. So we won't we won't really need too many um, power consuming uh, hardware. So I chose the 550 one. Plus Course Air is pretty good. They're pretty reliable on power supplies. Also, and we went with another with a Course Air. Uh, RAM DDR4, it's a vengeance and 300 megahertz. And yeah, these, these are pretty good. I've always chosen Corsair, they've they're always been reliable and pretty quick, pretty fast. How much was the power supply? Power supply was about 70 bucks. Amazon as well? Amazon as well. And this one? I believe the RAM, mm, if I'm not mistaken, maybe about 70, 80 bucks. So and then we have this water cooler here went with the kraken x42 this will be power uh helping out the uh the ryzen chip that we got over here we got chose the Sexy. amd we went team team amd on this one i think that's a really good uh cpu what's the processing on this one that one is well 4.2 gigahertz Max boost. This one's the 2600X, and it has a. It's a six core with 12 threads. 12 thread meaning it would be equal to 12 cores, yeah. right? That's the new technology. Yeah. So this is the latest right now. This yeah. model. Yeah. Actually, this one's the one below the the seven, but we chose this one because there wasn't really much of a performance boost on the seven Ryzen seven. So this one made more sense. Plus, it was a little cheaper since we also had a budget. So we had to work around a budget too. What's the competitor to Intel with uh, this one? I would probably say maybe, that's a good question. Wait, I, how much was uh, this one? This one I think was like 170, 160 around there. Amazon as well? Amazon. Yeah, everything here is it was ordered from Amazon. Nice. And then on the motherboard we chose MSI here, B450i. Nice, micro? Yeah, ATX or ITX? Uh, micro ATX. How many uh, PCI slots is this one? This one just has one. Is it open? Can you open it? Yeah, uh, open. yeah. it's open. I did it earlier. Nice. 
and the maximum slots on the memory, what is it, two? This one has two. Since it's a smaller board, we wanted something small, so. Maximum uh, memory is what, 16 gigs? Uh, I think it could do up to 32, I believe. Nice. better view of it. You want to look at it? This one actually has built-in uh, Wi-Fi too, so that's going to be a big plus for his son since he doesn't have to connect any internet cables. He'll be gaming wireless. On this micro ITX, does it have for USB 3.0? Yes. The, the front yeah. USB 3.0 port? Yep. Yeah. Which one's that one? It would be, uh, be that one. Okay. But, uh, yeah. So, right here? yeah. So that will connect to this case and you'll be able to use these yeah, for fast USB 3.0 transfer. 3.0 or 3.1? I believe it's the way down. The other one we're going to get was 3.1. Right, so I think this one's 3.1. Oh, okay. I can be mistaken. 3.0 is fine, I'm fine. And then on the, for the video card, what kind of slot is it? PCI Express, I think it's 16. Yeah, which is just this one right here. So it's 2.0? or? Uh, I believe it's the 2.0. Yeah. 2.0. When it's 2.0, it uh, does that. Is it backward compatible with the 1.0? Yeah, it, oh, Express. Oh, that works. But uh, what other slots does it have? Oh, it's got the, the two bottom. Rams. You want to turn it oh, around. yeah, and then also it has this right here. You could connect your M.2, which we got one terabyte worth. Nice. So, no hard drives. We'll be using an M.2 here. See, yeah, guys, this is the latest technology on hard drives. It's not anymore the big 3.5. Now it's a little piece like this. And how fast is this thing? Uh, it's if you compare it to like, uh, say you're booting up. It's kind of like a, a regular solid state drive, but maybe just a, a bit faster. Nice. Damn, dude, I'm gonna choose this one. That one actually, I got a really good deal on Amazon too. Um, never tried this brand, so hopefully it's pretty good. Um, it's SP and it's about like it came out to like 80 90 bucks for one terabyte which is not bad at all Ooh, really wow. good deal on amazon check okay that on that m2 slot say if you want to connect it to an older motherboard are there any pci adapters for that or no uh yes there is actually they sell some online on amazon where in case you don't have that if you have an older motherboard you could always buy one where it has like a pci express expansion slot it'll definitely work Okay, and we'll leave the best to last. And we chose the GeForce GX, uh, GTX 1660 Ti. This card uh, just came out not too long ago, and I believe this was pretty good. David wanted something brand new, so, and something with a good kick. This one's basically about the performance of a 1070, which we thought was pretty good, and it was a lot cheaper too, so. I think we got it for 270 bucks. Yeah, nice. and this would be perfect for what he needs. We didn't want to go too extreme on that, especially so, since we're working. So this one can handle a standard power supply? Yeah. This so should, what was this the watts on the power supply you got? Uh, we got 550 watts. Damn, dude. That's yeah. what I was worried about because I wanted to upgrade my video card. Yeah. And I think I have a yeah, 600 this one watt. Won't, this doesn't really consume too much power, which is good. Nice. Another reason why I chose the 550 watts. What's the outputs and inputs on this one? HDMI, DVI? Uh, I believe it has... The DVI, uh, it HDMI, no, we haven't opened it. And it has a display port, which is very important. That's actually what we needed, a display port, because uh, the Oculus Rift S will need a display port. Damn, dude, the heat sink on that thing. Yeah, that is really nice, actually. I like that. That's one thing I actually like about Ooh. this card, is that uh, the back plate is, is, is sexy looking. Does, you don't see the board or anything. Wow. <laughs> yeah. The fans are already on there. So it's going to need... What? A, so it's going to be the PCI Express slot that's in a part of the card, right? Yeah. But on top of that, it only also needs... the PCI Express, uh, the power. What is it? Oh, there we go. Right here. 16 slot, which and we that, do have right here. And that will automatically power up the two fans and the video card, right? Yes. And this thing already that's has two fans on it. And then with the cooler there. What does yeah. it have in the back? What is it? Nice. Yeah. You want me to open this up? We might yeah, actually add a couple of fans. Maybe. We'll see. Where are some LED fans I have extra laying around? 
Can, can I show them your sexy one yeah, over there? Yeah, you can show, show them. Alright, so this is how it's built. Beautiful. What kind of video card do you have in here? That one has a 1080 Ti from Gigabyte. Is that the RAM that's powering with the LEDs or what? Yes. What kind of uh, RAM is that? What brand is that? That's uh, Corsair as well. How much are those? Uh, man, I, that was a while back. I think they're a lot cheaper now, but back then when uh, RAM was really expensive, I think they came out to at least, I believe, like 160 bucks. For, uh, two sticks. Yeah. How much RAM are you running? Right, right now it's running 32 gigs. Nice, bro. Yeah. Those fans are very. Oh, it's 21 fans, real quiet. Yeah, those are pretty quiet. They have the RGB. What? Are, that's basically all Corsair. I went Corsair on that build. You got USB 3.1 or 3.0? That one has 3.1. Nice. And it has a USB Type C connection on the back of it. On the motherboard. If you ever build a computer, yes. you're gonna need an ESD. Anti-static. Anti-static. Anti-static wristband. <laughs> He's gonna ground down the cardboard. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the motherboard. I'm not touching it. Did uh, this already comes with the compound for the processor? Yes, and if in case it doesn't, you I got think some? this one will probably have it already. Some of the compound. So each motherboard comes with the rear chassis plate, right? Yeah. You know what's funny? I didn't. Did did that one come with it or no? Let me see. Oh there yeah. Yeah. So every motherboard comes with its own. Chassis plate for the tower. Which is not and if you lose this, you're pretty much screwed. You have to call the manufacturer to yeah, or send you another one. Because <laughs> <they're, laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's no such thing as universal ones. <laughs> so what's this right here, dude? Oh, SATA cable? Yeah, those are SATA cable. We're, we're not going to need that, that's for sure. The Got drivers. drivers, and this is for the Wi Fi, Wi Fi antennas. Those go outside or inside? Oh, those will go outside. Once we'll put those at the end. Those go right here. Let's throw them right there. Yeah, that's what I like about this board. It has built in Wi Fi, so. It's not bad, dude. Oh, it's got all the drivers. We've got the sticker right here. That's going to go in the front of the case. MSI represent right there. No, are, you, the are you an MSI type of? Nah, I just. I'm whatever guy. <laughs> I like Asus and. Uh... A yeah, AMD. One, yeah, one of my favorites is uh, EVG. I used to do a lot of EVG builds. Stick. Oh yeah, the hard drive. Yes. All right, guys. So, thanks for watching. I'll be posting a video later on, and we'll probably be doing some more geeky stuff like this. Shit, we'll post once we're done with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's David. I did. Here we go.